So your shout outs for this video goes to Brian Galeas, James Newton and also Ocean Panda for suggesting this fact file video. If you have a shout out that you want to give in the next video tomorrow, then please comment them down below and I'll make sure you get them in for tomorrow. Thank you very much for your shout outs and let's get into this Coaster Child fact file from the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Shell, Doncaster Board, Bob Bob for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Coaster Shell Fact File. I keep saying Theme Park Coaster Shell Fact File when it's still a Coaster Shell Fact File, just not Theme Park Coaster Shell Fact File. It's a lot of words, I know. Welcome to this video though. A uh, big shout out to Ocean Panda who suggested this video and this is a fact file on the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure at Chessington World of Adventure Resort. Of course she's going there in a couple of weeks so uh, she did suggest the Scorpion Express video and uh, yeah we're going to be talking about the uh, Gruffalo River Ride Adventure but to talk about Gruffalo we have to look back in the past and we're going to be going through all the history on Professor Bert's Bubble Works, the Imperial Other Bubble Works, when the sponsorship was removed, which isn't much, and the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure. So, before we get started guys, let me tell you how you can interact with our channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved, your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise dice continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So Chessington World of Adventures opened Professor Burp's Bubble Works along with the Roller Coaster Vampire in the brand new Transylvania section of the park in 1919. The ride was created as part of a second phase to regenerate Chessington Zoo into a popular theme park. The dark ride went on to be highly successful for the park and it spawned similar water dark rides in the country and was named third best dark ride in the world by the National Amusement Park Historical Association. The start to your factory journey, once entered into the factory you embark on your journey into the boats, many posters advertising the pop, excellent backdrops, very catchy music and always something to look at, in fact once inside the factory there's plenty to keep you entertained on your way up and over the track and down to the boats. On the first section of the tour, Professor Burp's office and Burp himself is there to welcome you to the factory. Watch the juices are extracted in some weird and wonderful different ways. Also setting the tone for the bubble works was the smell of juices all around. Then you can see which and what gases are going to your soda drink all under the watchful eye of Professor Burp. You then enter the pressure room which is the most unstable part of the tour and testing is in progress. A monster boulder approaches before exiting out of danger and into the Hawaiian mixing room. You then experience an out of space soda before blasting off into the testing room with gases test meter and the hick cups. Now the testing has been done, it's time for bottling the soda in the bottling department, but just like the rest of the factory, things don't go according to plan. The bottling is now done and it's time to arrange transport for the soda in a fairground setting. The cola coaster, bumper folk lifts and garrisels are all full of soda as Professor Burp keeps everything moving. You are now in the quiet zone, moving up slowly to the finale of the tour. For what is the finished product, you'll get to see the fruit juicer there in glory in the fountain finale. Once you're done inside, pop in again as you go through the fireworks back to the ride station. Riders had the option to exit into a gift shop, originally selling bubble work souvenirs including Professor Burt branded drinks and in later years the ride's exit path was permanently routed through the gift shop. Professor Burp's Bubble Works operated for 15 years before being replaced by a new sponsored version by Two Sword Studios at the end of 2005. 
The ride's theme was changed to a soap factory to suit sponsor Imperial Leather, and several of the sets and props were recycled, extensively modified and repainted by two swords. Additionally, almost all the animations were removed or made static. Upon reopening, the redesigned attraction received highly negative response for having removed all the animations and the humour of the ride and for the flawed alterations to its lighting and animations as well as the soundtrack, including dubbing over most of the original theme tune with quacking duck sounds. The station sets the scene for the rest of the ride and under Professor Burt, this was a village scene. During the change, this was made more into an underworld to world and new fences were added in 2016 during the rides last year and the boats were also recolored during the refurbishment. The posters on the wall while you queue all promote the bubble and duck experience with bright colours used throughout. On the first part of the tour you enter the bubble head's office. Once home to Professor Burp, the office is a far more relaxed environment with a bathtub part of the new office equipment. The refurbishment of the bubble works did make the story easier to follow. And in the second room, the theory of what makes the bubbles is on show from the more simple theory to the utter ridiculous use of the cow. All the bubble heads can be seen at work throughout, including seeing them in action, trying to burst the bubbles. Once the gas chambers is now the tickle test room, a simple room for testing the bubbles to see how much is required to make you laugh. It's also home to one of the most iconic parts of the ride to remain from the refit, the large tickle foot itself. The extra extraction room is next on the tour, taking out all the bad gases to make the perfect bubble. Linked in here was once of a more scary parts of the ride, which was the big boulder monster but this was toned down to a much more friendly one for the bubble re theme. Time for a break as the once juice jacuzzi is now home to the bubble hut. This is actually the first room with ducks in, but this is a very relaxing room with lots of pampering going on and this room is also home to a few original pieces with the elephant and hippo from the original ride experience. The next, next part of the ride is a photo area foam burst falls home to the bubble head and the floating barrel. Sticking with the duck theme, the ride moves into the duck hatching area which includes testing the eggs and the hatching of the eggs. Once the department for moving and bottling the pop is now the place for preparing the ducks for transporting. The preparation is now done and it's time for transporting is underway. And quite a lot of the scale, large scale models were used to refit including the large duck and die formerly known as the Cola Coaster from the original ride experience. The Dodgem car and the Helter Skelter also remain as you take in plenty of ducks in the area. You're now in the quiet zone, moving up slowly to the fountain finale. The lift hill will always be known as the part where you're about to fall into the fountains, but this is a hugely technical area of the ride. For those that have ridden bubble works will know the lift stops and starts, and this is because it spaces the boats back out again. For the final segment of the ride, the fountain finale was always a work of art, and the fireworks scene sends riders back into the underwater station. Now back on the 21st of December 2013, a fire broke out at the adjacent Creaky Cafe building which damaged an exterior wall to the finale room requiring repairs. During this time the ride's facade was also repainted to blue. In 2014 the Imperial Leather brand logos were removed or covered up, although the ride remained unchanged otherwise. After 26 years, Bubble Works, Chessington, World of Adventures Resort, much loved Bart, but Dark Boat Ride, closed its doors and took its final passengers as the attraction retired to make way for the new Gruffalo River Ride adventure. To mark the final closure of an attraction, the resort put a VIP hashtag Bye Bye Bubble Works party, which celebrated the attraction's long history and also reflected on the many memories created by the ride. Along with an appearance from Professor Burb, who kicked off proceedings at the start of the evening, invited guests had the opportunity to get their final rides before bidding a final farewell to the attraction, and a selection of items for the ride were also on display, as well as a brief history of the development of the ride, which offered a unique opportunity to gain an insight into how the ride developed and seen up close some of the inner workings and theming features. Gruffalo River Ride Adventure takes you into the deep dark wood on the hunt for the Gruffalo. A slow moving lazy river ride awaits as you join Mouse on an adventure. Enter the new river ride adventure to a calm and tranquil setting before heading out into the woods on the search from the Gruffalo. With special effects, projections and amazing lighting, join Mouse and try and stay away from the claws of the river ride adventure deep in the wild woods. Large models and videos are used on the journey with some of the previous ride's famous fountains remaining from the finale scene of the original ride experience. So that, my friends, is Bubble Works into Gruffalo. Now, for those of you who haven't ridden it, like me, 
You'll have probably seen pictures and videos of the original ride experience and Bubbleworks is definitely a missed experience. It's definitely a long-standing attraction in the history of theme parks. But I think the Gruffalo is a perfect, perfect IP to go for. It was the start of the Julia Donaldson books coming into Chessington and I think that it really spurred on the park to invest in Room on the Broom and to keep investing in the Julia Donaldson books inside the theme park. And I think that... Uh, the Gruffalo refurbishment was a much needed refurbishment. I feel like Bubbleworks was a classic attraction, but I feel like in its last year or two of operation, I feel like it was very mismanaged and I feel like Bubbleworks was very unmaintained. And it looked very much like it needed some kind of refurbishment to just spruce up the life around that area. So uh, it was sad to lose the Transylvania area along with the re theme in 2017, but I think that it was a much needed project to. To do really so uh, for those of you who haven't experienced it like me I would strongly advise you go and check it out because it is a fantastic ride experience get the kids down there get the whole family down there and experience the Gruffalo River Ride adventure because it is a once in a lifetime dart ride experience so thank you very much guys for watching this fact file on Bubbleworks slash the Gruffalo River Ride adventure uh, but for now guys thank you very very much make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never shoot your video and for now, guys, keep on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.